Hey guys, Bing here, and today I'm going to sh uh, redo the bulk head um, video. Okay, so today I'm going to show you two two options. So one's just simple um, drop down ceiling in the middle, and uh, the the other one is like uh, on the edge. Okay, so let's start. So first, create a project and place some wall. WA and I'll pick the brick veneer timber and uh, before I place just edit type structure edit I'll need to insert a layer so go down and uh, I'll pick the plasterboard gypsum wall in 10 mil okay so that's uh, into interior size so okay okay and a rectangular so that's full wall and change the detail to medium so you can see that's brick start plaster so I also change the height to 3 meter so let's go uh, to 3d views so these are full wall now let's go to ceiling ceiling I'll just use this one so the default can uh, compound ceiling plan edit type uh, oh, sorry edit type yes and structure edit so here I'm I'm going to use timber which is the same um, same as uh, the, the start of in the wall so and I'll keep the size for now I'll change this to full let's finish okay so and then change this to 10 mil and okay and uh, okay so I'll see if I can use automatic seating so I'll pick 3 meter and then um no no 27 yep so yeah when your ceilings um be enclosed by walls so you, you can use automatic ceiling otherwise you can just uh, sketch ceiling and pick walls okay so i'll place this wall here 27 and then i'll change this wall to 3 meter so now we have this wall and ceiling so i'll just do a section box and have a look of the here yeah. so um yeah so what i need to do is i'll just raise the wall a little bit maybe i'll change that to three three and apply and i'll do another section box and have a look of this thing here so now i maybe i want to extend this structure of ceiling to the start instead of finish a uh, stop at the plasterboard wall so let me just uh, uncheck the section box edit boundary and then select all these uh, sketch line and extend into wall and okay so now if i look at um do another section box and uh, you will see this ceiling go into stop at the, the stop okay so now we can just join them yep just ignore the up uh, part but uh, here i'm quite happy with that so uh, let's uncheck the section box again and just join them all okay so now let's do the the bulk head the ceiling the middle uh, ceiling part so before that i'm going to so this a side of this ceiling I'll use wall okay WA wall and I'll probably just pick this one start timber start 70 and the edit type edit structure so I'll go add add a new go down down so in or maybe just go up exterior side and then I'll change that to full finish and uh, plus wall oh sorry plus plus board and 10 mil okay so um all good hang on uh let me think yeah that's that's okay um all good and then draw a rectangular shape and then just set this base base offset base offset will be the the height of the middle ceiling so which i'll i'll use 24 and the top top offset will be um, 
the height of the upper ceiling. So just I'll just use ground floor three meter and apply and then draw this shape. So you can just pick on one of the wall and then you can have you can change these dimensions to whatever you like. Okay, so if I rotate it a little bit, so because we are in 3D view, and then so we can see this walls from uh, start from 24 and finish at 3 meter. So now let's do a ceiling. Ceiling. Uh, this time I'm I'm use a sketch ceiling. Okay, uh, and pick wall tab select, and before I finish, check use a uh, Click on this one, so this you can you will tell which side uh, these lines are on. <laughs> okay, so so in this case, I want to pick the external face. Yeah, and okay, so now sorry, I forgot to change this, so I'll change that to twenty four, right? So now you can see it's uh, there's a, a little bit overlapping. So if I change to SD, so you will see this this when you sometimes when you see all these, so that's these, which means um that's over they are uh, that's overlapping faces. So I'll just use uh, join. Okay, so now they are joined. And I'll temporarily hide this wall, okay? So you can see them. But that's a line here. Right? So to that's because the the structure, the structure of the ceiling. So if I uh, to the section box, you can see. Oh, hang on. That's because these walls are uh, on the wrong um, direction. So what I need to do is select all these four wall and the wall center that's fine just top space and now if I cut a section again so you will see so um, this ceiling looks fine looks totally fine fine so, so, so that's very nice and clean but if if you look at this section so the structure of this uh, is a little bit here so we probably want this bit to be plasterboard as well. So what we can do is just select this plus uh, the ceiling edit boundary, select all the four of the sketch, check this one and OK. So now if I cut the section, so you will see that's very nice clean detail. Yeah. So that's that's it. That's for the first sorry, that's for the first uh, first one. And also, if we want to change the height, or, or you can just, if we want to change the size of the ceiling, you can just move the wall. Okay? You don't, you don't need to edit the, um, the sketch of the ceiling, because the ceiling will always follow these walls, and even you can rotate or do whatever you like. Just don't delete them. And okay, so and also to change the height, you can just change the height of the ceiling. And also change the height of this base offset of the of the wall. Okay, so this is the first one. So let's let's jump to the second one. So second one's uh, similar, just 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 the the lower ceiling on um, the edge. So I'll just uh, copy this to here. Okay, so we have. Oh, we don't have the ceiling. Temporary high chart. I'll create a ceiling here as well. CH. Uh, just use the pick wall. And uh, this time we go inside. And also, I want them to extend to the wall. So, this will be the ceiling I'm looking for. And then uh, let's go just click on this one. So, this is more uh, like a re reflect ceiling plane. So, now we can do wall start wall and uh, this time I'm going to control the face when I play so uh, previously I used wall center line so now uh, I'm going to use um, external face so this this way if we draw a draw some uh, you can use your space and to switch the wall so 
Okay, so this uh, in this case, I want the wall uh, external face to be to be like this. Okay, so place it. So you can you will see. Uh, I can't see the next. Now let me just external face space. Uh, I think yeah. So external face is here. So you can't see this. Um, pro probably I need to go to a reflect ceiling plane. So this way I can see this little arrow thing. So this little symbol is always on the external side. Okay, so in this case I'll want this to be here. So right, so we will have the plus board, plus board on this side. So same space this one's fine space okay so now this is and then you can just adjust uh, adjust to the size by just typing uh, dimension so you can click on this one so it will go the other side uh, face of the wall something like that so okay so now what we need I'll just go back to 3d view so I'm um, I prefer to do everything in 3D view <laughs> so it's a little bit hard at, um, when when I first start but once you um, oh hang on I'm on the wrong one I think um, oh yes that's correct so yeah it's 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 a bit hard when I when first start because it's always like oh you, you you can't select this, you can't place this, you can't place that. But once you know, understand all the, all the like uh, all the rule, all the work plans, everything's so it's much easier to do it in uh, plan views. Okay, so let's 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 come to these walls. So these walls start at 24, finish at three. So this ceiling, yeah. I'll change this ceiling to three meter high. Okay, so now we need the ceiling, yeah. And uh, I'll go back here and ceiling, and I can just uh, do a automatic. Looks like I can do an automatic ceiling here at twenty seven height. But if I want to make it 27, 24, it's still okay. Just so I'll place it. And then rotate a bit so you can see this uh, ceiling at 24. But when if when I um, move my cursor here, it looks like the, the edge is on the inside, into this side of the wall. So what I can do the edit boundary, select these four, and then oh sorry not these, I'll just select one and pick, click on this one so it will go to the other side and also i want them to extend to wall and for these two or four i also want to check this one and now if i finish and then so and i can so just draw all draw, join all the wall and the ceiling join all the wall and the ceiling and then also the ceiling and this ceiling and this wall ceiling and this wall and the ceiling and this wall. So now we have this. Uh, our, do we have a, yeah, a top ceiling? So for the top ceiling, you probably don't need them to uh, to go to the edge of the. So so I'll do a section box. Okay. So so you will see. You will see this. So now this ceilings go uh, goes to here so if um, let me think do we need that maybe I'll leave it for now okay I'll leave it for now now I'll just adjust this wall because um, we might need to have a little uh, a vertical here and then some hidden line behind that so I'm so I'm going to select all these four and instead have um, that to three meter, I'll just probably 2500 mil. Maybe that's not enough. 26. So so now we will have a little bit. Uh, 
more vertical there yeah? so like this yeah and then we probably need another wall behind this okay so I'm going to um, go bottom again temporarily hide the ceiling so we, I can see these walls and use off OF offset and I'm typing 200 with copy and uh, tab so this way I will create full walls behind that so 200 millimeter away but for all these four walls um, I'm going to change the height to 3 meter so and then now if I HR uh, we will still see that and then I'll select this full wall and just need to um, raise this full wall to uh, top of the ceiling so ceilings 55 I think so 24.55 so now we have uh, if I cut a section so you will see now we have this so and then for this one you can you can do a join you can do a join here as well so when you cut a section in um, in a model when you do some sections so it's, it's uh, so you, it's quite like neat and also uh, maybe that's not enough so you can just just change this move the wall so to create enough space for your lighting or yeah something like that so um, yeah I think that's pretty much it it's it's um, it's quite simple just use wall uh, and uh, you can even let me let me show you so you can even do, uh, do a dimension uh, I'll just cut the section cut so so for example this one so you can do a dimension from this face to this face and then maybe 300 and then you can lock these dimensions and then next time when you are you want to adjust this one so you can adjust them so you want to make a so you can you will always have this one this wall with this right so you join them join them to to get rid of these lines so the same let me do it again so for this one I'll just move it oh sorry I'll just dimension it so 200 and then I'll maybe type in 300 and I'll just lock it so um, and then next time if, if you want to change the size of this you can just move them let me try and rotate to see if it works nope <laughs> so yeah that's fine you can just move them and uh, okay so that's pretty much it so that's two different exercise so to um, seating or bulk head exercise um, I hope it's yeah it's I hope it's 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 um, it's easy enough yeah but if if you still have questions just let me know um, I'll explain a little bit more okay so otherwise I'll see you next time thank you bye